Let's take a look at the best weapons in Far Cry New Dawn that you should craft as soon as you got the workbench on level 3. I will tell you how to get the crafting materials and some special materials as well. And we will talk about the fact that you can upgrade your weapons now after you've crafted them. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. It's not possible to immediately unlock the best weapons in Far Cry New Dawn where in Far Cry 5 you could easily collect a ton of money and then get the Spes 12 and AKMS and you were set for the rest of the game. In New Dawn you do need to progress through the main story to get the workbench to the highest rank to be able to craft the best weapons possible. The elite weapons. Almost all the different weapons have an elite version and their power is immediately noticeable versus rank 3 enemies but even elites now go down with just a few bullets. So while there is a great selection of elite weapons I think that there are totally some that stand out and should be part of your high end loadouts. Let's start with the insane MG42 powerhouse of course first seen in Far Cry 4 then later added to Far Cry 5 via a live event and now an elite weapon in Far Cry New Dawn. It mostly shines because of the insane magazine so you can zoom in kill an enemy and do that multiple times after each other before you have to reload. But even shooting without zooming already does a ton of damage. Sure, it's slow, but carrying it around is totally worth it for the insane powerhouse that it is. The new disc launcher is insanely strong, shooting not one, but five discs at a time. On the elite level, you have two variants, a more regular one that can be compared to the others we find on the lower ranks. This time it shoots five blades that deal 1200 damage each, so also onto one target. Killing, for example, an elite enemy with one shot if you stand close enough and have the blades like bounce around. It does mean that you lose a lot of ammo per shot though, like five blades. But the fact is, of course, that if you loot the targets, then you will be able to get the disc launcher ammo back pretty, pretty fast. We also have the VT variant that has a guided boomerang saw that you can lock onto the target and once the square is green it will go after that enemy and even multiple targets if you were able to lock them while aiming. It will only hit one saw though while you are close to the target so you cannot take an elite out with one shot and it will also not go through objects of course. So where the saw launcher V3 can get behind enemy cover for example the shield enemies by aiming to the ground and then have it bounce back up this VT boomerang version goes in a straight line so it's more great from longer range because shooting the saw launcher v3 from a longer range has more chance to miss so it really depends on what you prefer a saw launcher from up close or one for far away so i would go for the regular saw launcher because having the blades bounce is just really really powerful and also because you find a lot of scopes on the later assault rifles making them all a pretty good choice for enemies that are far away and there are three sort of similar assault rifles in the elite rank that all have a pretty nice scope and a melee weapon attached to them so they can all do a ton of damage from up close and take enemies out that way as well. There's one clear winner though in my opinion and that's the AKMS Radiant Pink version simply because you deal 155 damage per shot with a very steady gun and it has 40 bullets in one magazine. The M16 shoots faster but has way less damage, 130 bullets in one magazine and it feels harder to hold as well, although on paper it should have a better handling. The Rock Paper Scissor ARC is the coolest looking weapon of the bunch but also has the smaller mech compared to the AKMS. So yes, the M16 and the ARC shoot faster but in reality it doesn't really matter because the time to kill with the AKMS is still pretty pretty short and you lose more ammo with the other guns as well. So I would say the AKMS is the best assault rifle in the game. Maybe if you upgrade the ARC damage that it can make a difference because it does shoot faster. Yes, that is new in Far Cry New Dawn. You can upgrade your gun and then it will deal 5% more damage. Not sure how many times you can upgrade your gun though, but it should increase the damage by 5% all the time as far as I've seen. And it of course costs some crafting materials to upgrade your gun further. Maybe upgrading the D50 will make it in the end a one hit KO killing machine. Where you craft this very powerful pistol, one of the best weapons in the game overall. Even better than some of the shotguns in the game. Anyway, when you craft it, it has 400 damage. So that means that it kills every rank 3 enemy in 2 shots. And 
and an elite enemy will drop in four shots. But yeah, you already see that I upgraded it once and now it's 420. So maybe if you upgrade it even more, you will be able to take these enemies out with less shots. But yeah, the great thing is that it's nice for up close, but also for far away. If you got some marksman skills, then you should be able to take out enemies that attack you from afar. Making this, in my opinion, the best overall handgun you can use, although the AJM9 in Blood Dragon style is also a gun that can help you out a lot, especially in the full auto mode that you can trigger by selecting the weapon in the weapon wheel and then pressing the shoot button two times. But yeah, there are three different stances for this weapon. It's not that good from further away though. So yeah, as I said that the D50 is in some situations better than a shotgun and that totally applies to my favorite shotgun from Far Cry 5, the Spes 12, that in New Dawn you can craft with a silencer. So that significantly reduces the damage, making you not even able to to kill a rank 3 enemy with one shot if you haven't upgraded the weapon yet. Now the D2 is the best shotgun in the game so far and can of course be used in the offense and it does kill rank 3 enemies in one shot and it's also really really good against elite enemies. But yeah you have to reload of course after two shots. So yes because of that and the increased range with the Desert Eagle I would say go for the D50 as an offhand pick. I also want to note that the bow is really really good in New Dawn. You cannot underestimate that weapon. I feel that's even better in most situations than the elite sniper that you can craft. It deals 1200 damage with one shot and it stays silent as well. So this is enough to instantly kill all the rank 3 enemies and take out the elite enemies with just two shots. So yes, really really strong for a sneaky run indeed. And you of course don't have to worry about losing ammo since you can easily pick them up from fallen enemies. I think it's smart to carry a bow with you at all times so you can get more skins out of the animals. Because if you kill an animal with a regular weapon then you of course only get one skin and a bow gives two. And since the animals have now more health in New Dawn, what you can do is first shoot with your regular weapon make it drop in health and then switch over to your bow to do that final 1200 damage to then in the end run away with two pelts. We will talk about monstrous animal hunting in a second because those pelts are needed to craft some of the elite weapons. You see that I use the blood dragon bow here because it looks awesome but you can of course also craft the regular elite compound bow that has the same stats and requires less crafting materials. But yeah let's be honest you want to have that blood dragon bow right? So yes for a high end loader out, I would go for the MG42, a bow, the AKMS, and a D50. Those will be my go to. And yeah, the regular V3 saw launcher is, of course, nice as well. And the D2 shotgun if you want some shotgun action. I want to give a shout out to the P08 as well, that has a silencer on the elite rank. So it's easy to take out alarms from afar. But yeah, for the saw launcher and the D2 and some other weapons, you need monstrous animal skin to craft them alongside the regular materials. And you can of course easily get the regular materials by doing outposts and expeditions, or you can simply find them in the world. But the outposts and the expeditions are the easiest way to get the materials. Selling animal skins is of course also possible, but hunting animals takes way more time than doing an expedition that rewards in the end with more materials. So before hunting these monstrous animals, I already recommend some elite weapons, so craft other guns that don't require those pelts, and a bow is of course also handy, so you get double the pelt, you only need one to craft the specific weapon, but then you can sell the other one for some nice materials. The monstrous animals are at some locations on the map. I will show you them in this video, but you can actually easily find them yourself as well by buying maps at the local vendors, so the guys that are like running around in the world. Before you can buy these maps, you need to have rank 3 of the cartography facility of the home base, something you can easily unlock when you are at this point in the game when chasing like the legendary weapons. Got the upgrades? Well, then you can get the map for only 15 Atenon and you are set. When going to the location just walk around the icon and you should spot them. Sometimes other NPCs are already fighting this monstrous creature. I brought Horatio with me since it attracts like some animals so you can easily focus on the weak spots and take it out. The fights are not that hard overall. No, sometimes like finding these animals can be harder. I found the bison for the grenade launcher over here on the map. The Cougar over here for the RC rock, paper, scissor gun. The bear for the saw launcher was over here, but I also encountered it two times in the vinyl version of the government plane crash expedition. 
So if you go there, you might find this bear as well. And the boar for the D2 weapon can be found over here on the map. If you have a hard time finding them, then you can always check other locations on the map after buying the maps. And then you should be able to find all the pelts you need and craft all the weapons. It will be really fun to upgrade these weapons as well. Maybe see how the power difference will really change then. And it will be more noticeable thanks to the damage numbers and the health bar of the enemies as well. So it can totally be that suddenly weapons are able to instantly kill enemies or that they require less shots before the enemy goes down. I'll totally be upgrading my weapons, toying around with this system and then maybe do an updated video on the best weapons in the game. For now, this is how I stand. So totally subscribe for way more Far Cry New Dawn videos. I will have way more tips and tricks up. Also for weapons that you can find really, really early in the game. And that you want to use before you can craft these very powerful legendary guns. There's also a video up about how to get a very cool Splinter Cell outfit. Like the video of course to support the channel and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye!